Join me as I turn my son's $30 balance bike into a snow-destroying monstrosity so we can have fun all winter long. My son's balance bike is his absolutely favorite toy, so we couldn't let a little bit of snow get in our way. So for this project, I really wanted to make sure I didn't fundamentally alter the frame of the bike. So everything you're gonna see here is gonna make sure that we can actually remove everything as needed so that we can return this bike to its normal configuration in the springtime. To do that though, we're gonna have to design a custom stainless steel plate, which we can mount the bike's frame directly to. This plate not only acts as a mounting point for all of our components, but also a structural component because the passenger of this thing is only about 30 pounds. Using this stainless steel plate to mount everything was actually super convenient because it kept the entire design modular. After a quick fit check with my son, I had to get some help from my in-house karate master to cut the axle stock to length. At this stage, we could mount our motor and get our chain broken to length. And because two-year-olds don't have great dexterity, I designed this custom throttle button to make it super easy to turn the bike on and off. And it gets dark in the winter time, so let's design some custom high-powered headlights to keep the fun going even when it gets dark. The bike was looking good, but all the components in the rear were still exposed, so I had to design this custom 3D printed enclosure that would be printed in pieces and fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. It also provided a handy way to mount all the electronics. As you can imagine, these little components were gonna see a lot of shock and vibration as well as snow spray, so I had to actually pot everything using some potting epoxy. I could then super glue all the enclosure pieces together and then actually weld the pieces together to ensure they would never come apart during normal operation. I installed our little speed control on the bottom of this enclosure as well, so I was the only one who could make this thing go faster to keep it safe. With the headlights completed, everything could just mount with a few zip ties. And because I wanted to keep my son's center of gravity as low as possible to keep this design as stable as possible, I mounted some foot pegs on the front tire here. This also conveniently helped him actually steer the design a little bit better. So after about a week straight of 3D printing, I was able to assemble everything and it was starting to really come together. And I'll of course let you be the judge, but I think this thing turned out absolutely awesome. So it was time to call over our little test pilot and take this thing for a spin. And to probably no one's surprise, these little cheap Harbor Freight tires got zero grip on the snow. So I designed some custom paddle tires using 3D printed parts and stainless steel zip ties. And with those in place, this thing could absolutely rip. That is by a two-year-old standard, of course. The only thing I love more than seeing my son have a ton of fun on this bike was to share the process of building it with him. 